Link has both driverless services as well as those with drivers on board for added safety on board. Both these tram networks accept Oyster cards or contactless payment cards for fares but do not accept cash payments so make sure you have a valid card before boarding a tram service. Finally if you fancy seeing some of London's most famous sights from the water then there are plenty of river boat services available along the Thames that take passengers from one end of the capital to another with stunning views of landmarks such as the Houses of Parliament, Tower Bridge and St Paul's Cathedral along the way. River boat services also accept Oyster cards or contactless payment cards for fares throughout their journey so make sure to have your card ready if you plan on taking one during your stay in London. So if you're looking for an easy way to explore all that London has to offer then why not take advantage of its extensive public transport network. With a range of options available to suit everyone's needs there's no better way to get around this amazing city. Public transport is an essential part of life in London. It provides a convenient and cost-effective way to get around the city, whether for work or leisure. There are a variety of public transport options available for travelers in London, depending on the purpose and destination. In this instructional video, we will discuss the different types of public transport available in London. The most common form of public transport in London is the London Underground, also known as the Tube. The Tube is a rapid transit system that covers most of Greater London and parts of Buckinghamshire, Essex and Hertfordshire. It operates 24 hours on some lines and is comprised of 11 different lines. The Tube is the fastest way to get around the city, with some trains reaching speeds up to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour. It also offers connections to other public transportation services such as buses and national rail services. In addition to the Tube, London has a well-developed bus network that runs throughout the city day and night. Buses are typically less expensive than other forms of public transportation but can take longer than the underground due to traffic congestion on certain routes. Passengers can use contactless payment cards or buy paper tickets from machines at bus stops for single journeys, or travel cards which offer unlimited travel for a set period of time on all bus routes in London zones 1 to 9. London also has an extensive network of trams that run mainly in South London but also connect with other forms of transportation such as buses and rail services at certain stops. Trams provide a comfortable ride and usually carry fewer passengers than buses so they are less prone to overcrowding during rush hour periods. London's Overground Rail Service, known simply as Overground, connects various suburbs outside Greater London with each other and with some central stations within it. Overground operates both above ground on traditional tracks as well as below ground via tunnels connecting several major sites across Greater London including Stratford International Station in East London which links directly with both Heathrow Airport Express Trains and DLR, Docklands Light Railway, services at Canary Wharf in East London too. Passengers can purchase pay-as-you-go Oyster cards at any overground station for contactless travel throughout Greater London Zones 1 to 9 using either cash or debit slash credit card payment. The last form of public transport available in London is its waterway system which is made up mainly by boat rides along River Thames linking several sites across the capital city together including tourist attractions such as Tower Bridge or Westminster Bridge passing along iconic architecture like Houses of Parliament among others too, while providing beautiful views over this ancient city from your boat seat either during day trips or night cruises too which are very popular among visitors due to their romantic atmosphere amongst other things like music performances among others too. In conclusion, there are multiple types of public transport available in London depending on your purpose and destination including the underground, tube, network, buses, trams, overground rail service, and boat rides along River Thames offering various timescales for your travels around this ancient city, plus many more options too making it easier for you to travel from one place to another conveniently yet cost-effectively too so. If you're looking for an alternative means of travel apart from driving then take advantage of these great services today. Welcome to the Useview Guide on London Buses. Whether you're a first-timer or a seasoned commuter, this guide will help you learn how to use the city's bus system. London buses are an efficient and popular form of transport, 
with over 8 million trips made each day. The iconic red double-decker buses serve over 700 routes throughout the city, with frequent stops throughout London. The first step to using the buses is to identify which route you need and where it goes. You can get this information from any of the TFL bus maps located at tube stations and bus stops, as well as online and via the TFL app. It's also helpful to keep an eye out for signs along streets indicating which route runs there. When you know which route you need, look out for a bus stop which has a sign bearing your chosen route number or letter. You can also check if other routes pass through the same stop. Most stops have a shelter, but if not there will usually be markings on the pavement indicating where to stand and wait for your bus. Once your bus arrives, it is time to pay your fare. You have several options for this, contactless payment cards, oyster cards loaded with prepaid funds, travel cards, which are valid across all public transport networks, or buying tickets directly from the driver with cash or card payment, though some buses don't accept cash payments. If you're not sure which option is best for you, just ask. When on board, take care when finding your seat as many of them are facing backwards. Make sure that you hold on to any handrails while walking around the vehicle, it can be deceptively tricky to stay upright while navigating its steep staircases. Be aware that overhead luggage racks are provided on many of London's double-deckers, please ensure that large bags are placed here so not to obstruct other passengers' access or views out of windows. When nearing your destination stop, press one of the Request Stop buttons located at either end of each row of seats or next to each door on single-decker buses. This will alert the driver that you need a lighting at this stop. If in doubt about where exactly your destination stop is located, do make sure to ask either a fellow passenger or driver for assistance, they should be more than happy to help. Once off the bus at your destination stop, remembering to take any belongings with you, politely thank both passengers and drivers alike before leaving, they appreciate it. We hope we've helped give you all the key information needed in order to make use of this great form of transport safely and efficiently. Enjoy your journey. Welcome to our comprehensive guide to London trains. Here we will take you through the different types of trains available in London, how to use them, and all the different services they offer. The Tube is the most popular train service in the capital and is the quickest way to get around. It is a network of underground railway tunnels that connect many of London's major attractions, such as Buckingham Palace, Oxford Street and the Tower of London. The Tube operates on two different lines, the Jubilee Line and the Northern Line, which are both marked on an easily recognizable map. The information you need to know about these lines is available at any station or ticket office, or online. The Overground is another train service in London which runs above ground on a network of rail tracks that connect many of the capital's suburbs. It consists of 10 lines in total, with each line having its own distinct color-coded map at each station or ticket office. This makes it easy to identify where your stop is located and also helps make journey planning easier too. Prices for journeys vary depending on distance and time traveled but are generally very reasonable compared to other forms of transport in London such as taxis and buses. The DLR, Docklands Light Railway, system connects many areas around East London with each other and can be a useful way for travelers to get from one part of town to another quickly and efficiently. It consists of 12 routes, all color-coded on their own maps which can be found at any DLR station or ticket office or online. DLR tickets cost less than those for tube journeys and are often free if you have an Oyster card or contactless payment card too. London's famous red double-decker buses are also a great way to get around town quickly, although this mode of transport does not offer set routes like trains do, instead you need to pick up a route map when you board the bus which will show you all stops along your journey. Buses usually run every 5 minutes during peak times so they can be very convenient when traveling across town during rush hour traffic. In addition, there are also night buses running throughout the night during certain times, usually between midnight and 5 a.m. These services offer similar fares as regular buses but operate at a much slower pace due to increased traffic at nighttime hours. 
Finally, there are several train companies that serve commuters traveling into central London from outside areas such as Hertfordshire or Essex. These companies offer fast journeys into city centre stations like Paddington Station or Euston Station for much lower fares than those offered by tube journeys, these tickets can also be purchased online for added convenience too.